Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Hi, it's Simon, and this is my content manager and second brain in Notion. After a fair few requests for this, I wanna share the process and Notion system I use for managing my YouTube videos and digital products. But you can apply my template and thinking to whatever you are creating or delivering on a regular basis. It's the secrets I've discovered to stress-free workflows using a digital content manager. Whatever your pastime or business is online, YouTuber, podcaster, bloggers, no code developers, solo entrepreneurs, small product developers, Notion template designers, independent tech consultants, or even cat meme developers, using a custom content manager will change the game, giving clarity, quality, and efficiency to what you do. So I'm here to help you take the pressure off and stay consistent creating what you love, even if you're just starting out. And for the hundreds of you that use my complete Notion LifeOS template, this is your guide on how to get the most from the included creator dashboard. The key principle that has made my creative process so much more stress-free and consistent has been applying systems thinking to the messy process of creating. So as James Clear famously writes in Atomic Habits, we rise to the level of our goals, we fall to the level of our systems. And it's so true. A good system keeps things efficient and automated, whilst I'll also also allowing for that messy, free associative and unexpected process of creating something as you work through it. So I decided I wanted a Notion system that does the following. Automates the repeatable practical tasks as easily as possible. Provides project templates that guide me through the repeatable steps so that I'm sure everything is getting done. Offers a place to write, create and make a mess with the tools I need to help at my fingertips. Helps me organise repeated tasks and related clients or collaborators to the outputs that I'm creating and includes an inbox for my ideas and also somewhere to gather knowledge and research that I can then seamlessly link directly to the outputs I will make so that more of what I consume turns into something meaningful. And finally, something that organizes content and archives completed projects to keep a record of everything. So let's go through my process from the beginning. I think all acts of creation begin with observing the world, coming up with ideas, researching them, and then making something. I break the process down into three sections, generating and researching ideas, number one, creating them, number two, and then delivering and archiving the project. So the first thing we need is a way to capture ideas and knowledge that we know will be able to be resurfaced to us later. I have two key notions databases for this. The content database for collecting and working on new video and Notion template projects. I've created filtered views using tags for anything I add to the database to say it's either an idea, a live project I'm working on, or it's been published and archived. This then means I can create an inbox that filters new ideas to only show in the ideas list on my dashboard. The other database is for research and stuff I consume, what I call my knowledge bank. It's inspired by people like Tiago Forte and their ideas on the second brain and this is where I can drop anything that resonates with me from what I read, watch and listen to. Using a relation column in Notion I've linked the two databases together so that means that I can link quotes or articles to a video that I'm working on. Now I love doing this using for example the Save to Notion Chrome extension where I can use a custom form. I've also integrated my knowledge bank with Readwise so that all my Kindle podcast highlights automatically become entries in the database. From there I simply link them to the video or project. For more on how all of that stuff works, if you're interested, check out later on my dedicated video on remembering everything you learn using Notion and Readwise via the description. The next stage is to make one of the ideas. Maybe it's a video or a Notion template. That all happens in my content management dashboard. I have a view of the different content channels, or you could call these projects, and a quick view of live contacts and clients that I've linked content too. More of that in a moment. I use concat formulas and roll-up columns to report on the projects that have been checked as live or published, so I'm always clear on the status of each. To start working on one of the ideas from earlier that I want to develop, I just click on the live checkbox in this filtered ideas table, and then it will move and show up in the live content view. What I like about this is I can make multiple pieces of content live and then schedule them, so tracking their progress using this status column. I love a view in Notion to make reading the information easy, particularly with Notion's new database tabs. Here I've filtered by the content type. You could easily just do this by the related channel if you wanted to. And I love the new database features that mean you can filter or sort quickly just for yourself or save a more advanced sort for everyone. Just play with the filter and sort functions and see what's possible. Next, 
Let's look at how these pre-made templates can be so powerful in simplifying and supercharging your workflow. Not only will they save you hours when you repeat the process, but it's also a great way to focus your efforts effectively. But first, that leads me nicely on to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Now, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore creativity and personal growth on their own terms. If you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, it's the perfect place to start from productivity and entrepreneurship to creative writing, film and video and more. You can find classes that will match your goals and interests. I found Skillshare when looking for better ways to up-level my skills in running an online business and Ali Abdul's class on starting a successful side hustle has been a massive help in growing this channel and my digital products. It helped me optimise and leverage my time more effectively around my freelance commitments and in fact some of my favourite Notion productivity builds have been inspired by ideas I've discovered on Skillshare. Go give them a try. The first 1,000 people to use the link will get a one month free trial on Skillshare. Personally, well, I just can't get enough of it at the moment. Next, making the content project live. We can click our newly live project and select one of the pre-made templates I've made to manage the process. I have templates for developing Notion products, YouTube videos, YouTube shorts, and I'm working on a podcast maybe for 2023. To create your own database template pages or edit mine if you have this template system, you can go to new, click the dots and select new template or edit template on an existing one to create what you need. Let's use YouTube as the main example. I click it and the pre-populated form turns up. Here we can add a publishing date, set it as live, and I've created specific status labels to track the creation process. These can be anything you want, mine are from ideas through scripting to publishing. I also have some checkboxes for if a video, for example, might be paid or monetized. I can even link it to my client and contact database through another relation column. For example, the video is sponsored or for others, maybe you're an artist, creating one-off prints for a customer. It allows you to track the deadlines for clients, view guides or brief documents, and manage the invoicing and sign-off process. So I won't go into loads of detail about this client manager link here. You can just watch a video that I've made on the full tour of how I use that. Most importantly, perhaps, you'll see that the template has been pre-linked to a relevant channel, in this case, a project page called YouTube. This is because the top level of my content manager, as I showed you at the beginning of the video, uses my main project database for grouping content clearly together. These help me manage, for example, all the videos in one place and all the Notion templates or digital products in another. And in my complete Notion Life OS template, this is a relation field linked to my project database. And in that database, I have two templates, a content channel template and then a project template for things like more personal stuff like let's say bucket lists, finances, personal projects. Next, let's take a look at my video development template as an example. If we jump back into our new video, it's broken down into idea and title, scripting, resources, and then checklists to manage the creation process. A template guide like this should be as simple as you want it to be, but help you structure your thinking to ensure the key focus of the idea is clear, and then you can work down into the detail. My first level is about getting super clear on a great idea and title that you know will focus your energy in the right place. I think about what I need the audience to do, feel or know in order that this is the only video that they want to have to watch. I also consider how the thumbnail can add to the title and bring intrigue, not simply repeat what the title says. Maybe the rest of that though is for another video. And when it comes to task management and those to-do lists, there are a couple of ways to manage tasks on these projects. My favorite is to have the tasks pre-generated in the template page or by using the Notion API to generate a recurring task within my task manager. Did you see that? Task management videos, again, listed in the description if you want to discover more on this. The second area of my template is the writing area, where I break the writing process into three sections. A hook, a confrontation of the problem that you've set up in the hook, and then a satisfying resolution. Below this, there is a view of that knowledge bank database filtered by the content page we're on. This is a perfect example of why a second brain system, such as my Notion Life OS, can be so powerful as it's automatically resurfacing relevant information to enrich what I'm creating in the moment. There's also some of my favorite writing guides in the YouTube video template page to help me think about good pacing and story structure. If this stuff interests you, watch my video on scripting for YouTube via the links. Finally, I have a simple checklist system in the template that I can work through for filming, editing, and publishing. Honestly, 
I now don't use this that much, but that's precisely because these lists have helped me build a routine that I remember. That said, now that I'm looking at working with a team member, maybe they can be super helpful again to ensure we all know what's to be done. Using embedded bookmarks in the template is also a great way of having external tools at your fingertips. My title checker and stock footage libraries are often super helpful, but for my Notion templates, it can be blogs about formulas and shortcuts. I also really like this B-roll database that allows me to plan the B-roll shots from the A-roll, edit quickly and easily, or perhaps to brief an editor on my ideas from what I've shot. And it's worth saying, lots of this has been really inspired by Thomas Frank's approach early days, so big thanks to him, he got me into all of this world. The final stage, delivering and archiving the work. This stage is pretty simple. I upload my video or digital template, use the checklist guide to make sure it's all done correctly, update the status tag and add the URL to the finished project so that I can find it again for reference in the future. I also have the option to add the artwork or thumbnail of the completed project in the cover page, makes it look nice. And finally, by clicking the publish box, the video is filtered from live into the published section. And that's it. Any reports on my projects or client databases are updated automatically and I'm on top of it all. Love it. Now, if you like the look of this system, remember that you can adapt it through this database page template to use for any kind of regular output. People use it as a full-blown CRM for non-digital products, maybe personal training reports or your crafty side hustles that you're shipping to people. My complete Notion Life OS can be downloaded at bettercreating.com. And for more on using this or other ideas to run your life and business, you should watch this next. I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit that sub button and bell if you haven't already. See you soon. Bye.